Hi, welcome to today's lecture on cultural assimilation or cultural fusion and how we navigate identity in a globalized world. We'll journey through the complex landscape of cultural identity in a world marked by incessant interconnectedness and fluidity. Now, cultural assimilation refers to the process whereby individuals or groups adopt the customs, values, and behaviors of another group culture, usually the dominant one, often at the expense of their original cultural identity. This process has been accelerated in our globalized world, where mass migration, advances in communication and technology, and economic interdependence have brought different cultures into close contact. However, the discourse around cultural assimilation can be problematic as it is often associated with the loss of cultural diversity and imposition of hegemonic culture. It suggests a one-way cultural traffic where the assimilating group must relinquish their cultural heritage in order to become or belong and succeed in their new environment. Let's look at an example from the 2000s. The emergence of Hallyu or Korean wave is a fascinating instance of global cultural dynamics. This phenomenon is characterized by the worldwide popularity of South Korean culture, including pop music, K-pop, TV dramas, and film. What's interesting is the way non-Korean fans engage with this culture. Many enthusiastically adopt Korean language, fashion, and food stamps, an example of assimilation. But simultaneously, they maintain their original cultural identities and fuse elements of both cultures, which leads us to the concept of cultural fusion. Unlike uh, assimilation, cultural fusion acknowledges the two-way cultural traffic. It promotes the creation of hybrid identities where individuals can integrate elements from multiple cultures while maintaining aspects of their original cultural identities. And a historic example comes from the Italian Renaissance. Uh, during this period, the Arab world had advanced far beyond Europe in science, mathematics, and philosophy. When European scholars gained access to Arab libraries in Spain and in Sicily, they assimilated this knowledge. However, they just didn't copy, they built upon it, creating a fusion of Arab knowledge alongside of European thought. This interaction led to new developments in art, literature, and science, giving birth to the period we now call the Renaissance. For example, Ibn Rushd, also known as Averroes, was a prominent philosopher and scholar during the Islamic Golden Age. His extensive commentary on Aristotle's works played a crucial role in reintroducing Aristotelian philosophy to Europe during the Renaissance. Translated into Latin, his works were incorporated into European intellectual discourse. They were instrumental in shaping the scholastic tradition of reconciling Greek philosophy with Christian theology. Additionally, his thoughts on rationality and empiricism influenced prominent Renaissance figures, fostering a new spirit of inquiry and intellectual exploration. Thus, Ibn Rushd significantly contributed to the intellectual rejuvenation that marked the European Renaissance. Today, cultural fusion seen in the rise of fusion cuisines, the mix of musical uh, genres, or the blend of fashion styles, where elements from diverse cultures come together to form something new and original. That's where we are today. So what does this mean for our identity in a globalized world? While assimilation can be a response to pressures of fitting into a new cultural environment, fusion suggests a more empowering approach to cultural adaptation. It allows individuals to navigate and negotiate their identities, selecting aspects from various cultures that resonate with them. However, it's crucial to remember that both processes are complex and multifaceted with both the potential for positive and negative outcomes. In some cases, cultural fusion may also lead to homogenization of cultures or the appropriation of certain cultural elements without understanding or respect. The key is to foster a global culture that encourages intercultural dialogue, respects cultural diversity, and acknowledges the right of individuals to choose, adopt, and create their identities. We must foster these environments that allow culture fusion to flourish, while also creating safeguards to protect against cultural appropriation 
and the loss of cultural diversity. We can navigate this identity in a globalized world but that is both challenging and rewarding. And here are some three uh, practical ways to engage in this process. One, promote intercultural dialogue. Engage in conversations both in person and online with people from diverse cultural backgrounds. By actively listening and exchanging experiences, you can understand multiple perspectives, challenge your biases, and potentially find aspects of other cultures that resonate with you. This exchange fosters mutual respect and appreciation for cultural diversity, paving the way for cultural fusion. Two, foster hybrid identities. Cultural fusion allows us to pick elements from different cultures and incorporate them into our own identities. This doesn't mean abandoning your original culture, but in enriching it with new elements. For example, you could learn a new language, try a different cuisine, or integrate diverse fashion styles. This fosters a sense of global citizenship where identities are fluid and evolving. Three, respect cultural authenticity. While engaging with different cultures, it's important to respect their authenticity. This includes understanding their historical and social cultural context of different cultural practice and not just appropriating them superficially. Furthermore, be mindful of potential powerful power dynamics. It's critical to ensure cultural exchanges are respectful and equitable. The ability to navigate cultural identities in the globalized world is a skill that can foster personal growth, enhance cultural understanding, and contribute to a more inclusive and diverse global community. Thanks for doing your part.